We all know what word processing is. It's that modern approach to communication, a way to transform ideas into written communication quickly and accurately through the use of automated equipment operated by skilled people using revised office procedures. People, procedures, equipment. People, I understand. That's not a big problem. Procedures, that's just a step-by-step -step method of getting from here to there. But what about all that equipment? I mean, it, it's the most advanced, sophisticated, technological stuff around. And it can do almost everything. It's so complicated. It's so confusing. I don't frankly think that I can understand it. I mean, where do you start? Let's start with the basics. First, there are two primary types of equipment used in most word processing systems. There's the equipment used to get the material to the word processing installation. That's the dictation equipment we've seen in film number nine. And there's the equipment used to actually produce the documents. That is the processing equipment. The most common type of word processing equipment has been the text editing typewriter. Text editing typewriters are used for correspondence, repetitive typing, and of course, as the name implies, for editing. Now let's say you have to speed up the general correspondence in your office, and you need a machine that can handle short revisions. That's a job for the text editing typewriter. Or let's say you want to generate personalized form letters. That's a job for the text editing typewriter. Text editing typewriters come in all shapes and all sizes from simple configurations like these, which turn ordinary electric typewriters into text editing typewriters, to more complicated configurations. Text editing typewriters have magnetic recording and storage devices, something like a tape recorder. This device can be a magnetic card to record a page of material, or a tape cartridge to record 16 pages of single-spaced material or a tape cassette to record 50 single-spaced pages. Magnetic recording devices mean the word processor can correct errors by backspacing and re-recording the corrections over errors, the same as the record-erase function works on a tape recorder. After the document is recorded on a card or tape or cassette, it's played back at speeds that vary from 150 words per minute and up to over 300 in perfect finished form with no help from the operator. Then the document is stored on the magnetic recording device for as long as it's needed. And it can be played back as many times as desired. To revise any part of a document, your specialist can, with ease, find the exact spot for a copy change in increments of a word, line, sentence, or paragraph, and then simply type in that change, whether it's a word, line, or sentence. All the good portions of the text are retained and need never be retyped. 
Many models of text editors are what are called communicating text editors, meaning they can be connected by telephone lines with other text editors, with computers, or with special terminals in remote locations. Thus, copy can be edited and then sent to a distant location over the telephone. The United States Navy has communicating text editors in its recruiting offices all over the country. The second main type of word processing equipment lies in the realm of computers. There are three main elements in computer word processing systems. First, there is the input terminal. This is used for getting material into the computer. The input terminal can be a text editing typewriter which is connected to the computer with a special telephone tie line. Or the input terminal can be a video display screen unit such as this. Usually a number of input terminals are tied into one computer. The computer. Now this can be a full scale regular computer such as has been used in business for years and is often used on a time sharing basis. A smaller mini computer dedicated entirely to the word processing operation with many terminals. Or it can be self contained without added terminals. These are the micro computers. They combine a digital logic system with a display screen and a printer. The display screens use a cathode ray tube called CRTs for short. Revisions can be seen right on the screen. The third element in a computer word processing system is the output terminal. The equipment which plays out the material stored in the computer's memory. This can be a special high speed printer such as this one printing out at speeds of over 200 lines a minute. Or it can be a text editing typewriter playing out at 180 words a minute or more. Let's summarize. First, there are the text editing typewriters. These are self-contained units and they use magnetic recording devices. Second, there are the computer word processing systems. These require three main elements. The input terminal, the computer, and the output terminal. Computer word processing has a number of advantages over regular text editing typewriters. First, the computers used in word processing have extremely high processing speeds and powerful editing, search, selection, and multiple output abilities. Revision of words, paragraphs, and sections can be made with simple commands at lightning speed. Whole documents can be compiled in minutes from pre-stored paragraphs. Second, they have vast storage capacity, many times the capacity of cards, cassettes, and tapes. And of course, there's no need to handle any of these recording devices with computers. Finally, their input terminals are frequently easier to learn to operate and to work than regular text editing typewriters. So how do you decide what kind of equipment you need? There are a number of criteria. You must consider applications, cost, rent, lease, or purchase, maintenance and service, ease of operation, training, record retention, speed, appearance, future innovations, storage capacity, and the people involved. The first question to ask yourself is what you plan to use the equipment for. Correspondence to customers, suppliers, employees, form letters, direct mail, with legal documents, contracts, wills, trusts, and briefs, medical records, insurance documents like claims and premium notices, engineering specifications, parts lists, price lists, sales lists, inventory lists, personnel lists, dividend notices, quarterly financial statements, technical manuals, safety manuals, procedure manuals. You name it, and some type of word processing equipment can do it. If you wanted a list of all the clients who bought product 39 last month and the salesman who sold it, you could have it in minutes with word processing. If you want to send a personalized direct mail piece to your 50 most promising sales prospects, you could do so in a matter of a few hours with word processing without tedious typing. If you wanted to typeset your annual report and house publication in-house and save all the money that would mean, you could do it with your word processing text editors. In one legal organization, the cost of briefs went down from $5,000 to $2,000 with in-house typesetting. If you wanted to produce a medical report in five perfect carbon copies, you could do it with once-through keyboarding. 
Long or short, simple or complex, whatever the type of document, whatever the need, it can probably be done faster with higher quality and accuracy and fewer personnel than the traditional tedious mechanical means of the typewriter. One piece of word processing equipment is even being used at a zoo where it helps keep track of the health record of the animals. Births of the birds, for instance, or the sicknesses, etc., in the various animals. Now, let's ask a pro how he chose his word processing equipment. Dick Perry is word processing manager at Blue Cross Insurance in Wisconsin. He set up a center that puts out 2,000 or more letters a day. First of all, you have to do your homework. Uh, you just can't uh, decide that you're going to go into word processing concept, go out and buy a bunch of equipment, and hope that it'll work. You just won't do it. Um, know exactly what it is you want. Um, uh, take surveys, take studies, uh, talk to the various potential users that you have. It depends so much on your own application. First of all, you have to know exactly what it is you have or what it is you want for your operation. Uh, if you feel that you have high volume work, then you can go to more sophisticated equipment. If your work is relatively low volume, you don't need sophisticated equipment. Um, you have to know what your budget limitations are. How much money can you actually spend over a given period of time for, for equipment? Know what's on the market. Uh, make contacts with a number of vendors. Find out exactly what they have, uh, what their price is. Evaluate the, the cost of that equipment against uh, uh, the amount of time it presently takes on your present equipment uh, and evaluate the two. Uh, you can also possibly go to outside consultants. Uh, I would prefer uh, to do as much of your own investigation yourself. If you have any assistance people within your corporation, utilize them if at all possible. Uh, go to other corporations to determine what they have, similar to what you might want to consider, especially if it's a similar type of organization or type of business. Work with the vendors. You can tie it all together. But be sure you know what you're doing, otherwise it will be disastrous. I strongly urge you or anybody to take their time. Uh, we took at least six months in our last phase of word processing. If we were going to start over again today, I probably would take a lot longer than that. Uh, consulting vendors, working with vendors, uh, you want to be sure that they are an established organization. Be cautious uh, to make sure that the vendor can service the equipment that he is leasing or selling you. Take out a service agreement. Uh, if you don't take that out, sure as shooting, you're going to have downtime and it's going to be costly to you. Uh, I would not even think about going into a word processing system right off the bat without phasing in. Uh, it's too dangerous. So it's a matter of knowing what your needs are and choosing the equipment accordingly. And with all the word processing equipment on the market today, any need you have, there's a machine that can help.